Hello everybody and welcome back to G Bear's very hot homestead in the desert. Uh, my uh, thermometer topped off at 113 degrees Fahrenheit today. Yeah, that was hot. And guess what I was doing? I was up at a neighbor's installing plumbing. The water from the water lines from their water tank down to their cabin and uh, to give you an idea of how much of a job that was let me move around here you know all the dogs are over here too because there's a nice cool breeze on this side okay figure my tank up there was their tank I told you no jumping up there, limpy. Bad habit. Anyway, let's say that's their tank up there. Well, right here where I'm standing on this side of the um, solar panels was the distance I had to run from that tank to the cabin. And that got water line to the bathroom area. And then I had to run another line from there around the cabin to about uh, let's say that side of my cabin about where the window is so I can get wa um, water for them into their um, kitchen cooking area so that was a nice morning job and uh, I had a couple of guys there that were doing the digging and trenching. So that went by pretty quick. And we got the lines buried and connected at the cabin. And now they have um, inside water at the bathroom and the cooking kitchen area. So that's good for them. That'll make them happy. So beautiful sunset tonight, look at that. Yeah, really nice. Red sky at night, sailor's delight, right? Well, the winds are blowing, they're 27 miles per hour right now, and it feels pretty good, even though it's still 97 degrees Fahrenheit outside. The winds make it feel a little bit more comfortable. Those are three little girls over there. This is little girl, that's her name. She, she's a sweetie. She was somebody's trained dog who they abandoned in the desert because she knows all of the commands. She knows to sit and to come and lie down and all that stuff. A sweetheart of a dog. Aren't you there, little girl? Look at the tail go. She understands everything, so she's been somebody else's dog for quite a while. And this is Blackie. He's uh, he's bigger than his dad, Doggy Daddy now. And uh, he he walks around with his tail up in the air, thinking he's the new head of the pack here. But uh, Doggy Daddy puts him in his place when it's time. But he's a good dog too. He uh. He follows me around and takes care of me, keeps an eye on me, makes sure I'm always safe. So here we are back at the battery room. Battery's uh, doing great. I fired up the air conditioning in the cabin this morning because it was already 94 degrees at like 7.30 this morning. And uh, that got me out of bed real quick. I had the windows open, but the winds had stopped and it was getting warm in there. So... I got up to turn the ceiling fan on and I said, you know what, the heck with it. I'm getting up and get some things done. And I'm glad I did because I got up there and got their water lines run before noontime. So we're still at a good um, amount of power in these batteries. I'll be able to run the ceiling fans tonight again without a problem. And that helps me sleep a lot better. Especially when it cools down, it gets down to 80 degrees or so, 
sometimes at the higher up, upper 70s and with that uh, ceiling fan blowing and a little breeze coming through the windows it's comfortable sleeping so that's where we're at I still haven't got the cover back on there because I I'm waiting for the temperature to cool down so I can um, do the complete factory reset on that and get my internet connected but I just got notice that I've got a new battery coming in uh, tomorrow sometime before four o'clock but uh, fed up is the delivery company so I expect it to be get there about uh, they close at four tomorrow so I'll expect it to be there at quarter till four <laughs> I'll guarantee it that's the time it'll be delivered but I also have to go do smog on the van tomorrow because uh, that's all due on Monday the 8th so I've got to get uh, the smog done tomorrow uh, or Saturday depending on if there's room to get me in and then um, by Monday I have to do the re-registration and I do that at a kiosk at the grocery store and then I also have to do um, my hey 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 guys calm down I still have to do uh, um, vehicle registration at the kiosk smog and insurance um, this is my last payment for the year for insurance so tomorrow is going to be an expensive day so the money i earned today is all gone well not all gone i figure after i make all the payments i gotta to make tomorrow i should have uh i think 52 or 53 dollars left in my account but that's pretty much everything right <laughs> that's that's got to go all the way through to like the 27th or somewhere around the 27th of the month before I get my next social security check. Uh, that's life right now. And hopefully either by the end of this month or the start of next month, I'll get my, I'll see, be seeing my inheritance and I'm going to watch that disappear real quick because I got to pay off all of these debts that I've um, accumulated. What do we got going over there, guys? What do you see over there? That was midnight. That's one of your own. <laughs> yeah, the dogs, the dogs like to go way out there in the desert to go do their poop and stuff after they've had their supper. And one of them will be out there by themselves, like uh, Limpy out there right now. And these guys will come back here and turn around and see that one dog out there. And then they all go nuts and go running that way. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Limpy, because this is uh, Cinnamon. Anyway, that's all I have for tonight, everybody. Um, don't forget, um, leave in the comments leave where you're from if you haven't already um, what city state or post your flag from whatever country you're from or tell me what country you're from i've got a, quite a few of them in the last couple of uh, uh videos which is really really cool it's interesting all over the world got them from australia and great britain you name it canada uh, united states all over the different states I'm loving it. That's really cool. Keep it going, everybody. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.